What's up, folks? It's Von Mickel here, and I just received my brand new 2022 lithium ion onward from Club Car. What I want to do is go into a detailed uh, view of why I picked this car, some of the basic features, some of their standard features, and just hopes that uh, for those of you who are looking for your own golf cart, that this might help you out. Uh, a lot of times when folks do these videos, they spend two, three minutes going into uh, all the razzmatazz about why they're doing what without actually showing. And as much as I appreciate those long introductions, I'd rather grab that camera and start showing you what's of interest. So that being said, if it's all the same to you, uh, let's do just that. Uh, the reason why I decided to buy a golf cart is uh, very fortunate to live in one of these country club style communities down here in South Florida. Uh, and commonly, these communities will come with a third car garage that's designed exclusively for a golf cart. Uh, so I decided to take advantage of that space and uh, I decided to buy a golf cart. Now, I did not know anything about golf carts uh, before. I've only rented a golf cart a couple of times. Uh, very few times did that include playing golf. I am not a golfer. Don't really plan to use it to play golf. Uh, but I am a Lamborghini fan, so when I go to the Super Trofeo races, uh, especially up in Virginia, they allow you to rent a golf cart. But if you don't get in early, you can't get one with the canopy top and it's a two-seater. Uh, not as nice as these. So I decided, you know, I'd spring for one, but I didn't know anything about the market. Went to YouTube, found very few videos uh, of detail on the, on the really nice golf carts. So I decided to do one uh, of my own. Um, <clears throat> I started off by looking at Icon. I didn't know anything about an Icon golf cart, but uh, when you get into the golf cart space, I was thinking of the golf carts of old, meaning the ones that, you know, two-seater, small rims and those types of things. Uh, this one looks completely different. Uh, so I went to the Icon dealer and they started about $10,000. You'll get a very similar look. I did not ultimately go with an icon simply because when I went around to all, all the dealers, I went to the service centers and they said, hey, it's going to be hard to get the parts uh, because they come from China for one. Uh, but two, because we're still in the midst of this pandemic, it is uh, very difficult to get those parts. So they have icons that have been sitting for six or seven months uh, because they simply cannot get the parts. So I said, you know, that's not going to be any good. So I opted to uh, go look around a little bit, do more research. And I found myself at Champion Club Car or Champion Golf Carts. It's down in Palm City, Florida. And it's with the uh, sales director, Mitch, uh, we decided to go with this one. Uh, also shouts out to, uh, let's see, Doyle Lawson, who posted a YouTube video where he said he built his online on Club Car's website. So I did the same thing. So shouts out to uh, Mr. Lawson there for uh, helping me out uh, and then I put it together just like this and it came just like uh, what I put together uh, on the video nothing more nothing less so so those are some of the reasons why I got into uh, this particular car now I didn't particularly need a new one the trouble was again being in the pandemic uh, you know you couldn't cough sneeze or, or be with within six feet of space so it sent a lot of people to the golf courses and that in turn sent the demand for golf carts through the roof. I was told that the price went up substantially since the pandemic has hit. I cannot confirm or deny that, but what I can say is, yeah, they are pricey. Uh, if I could have found one that was used, it looks similar to this, um, you know, that would have been fine. But I thought I was gonna, you know, find something like this in the used market. I simply couldn't, they just weren't out there. And then the ones that were out there, they were 25 years old. Just didn't look like anything I wanted to invest uh, big money in. Uh, speaking of money, I thought a golf cart would be maybe 7,500 bucks at the most. Uh, boy, was I wrong. They can be four times that much easy and then some. Uh, so uh, going back to the Icon version, an Icon that looks sort of like this, about 10 grand, multiple colors. The trouble was, A, it's outside, or that particular deal is outside, not that being outside is a problem. That's a lot of money to be spending on something that's sitting outside in the elements, the wind, the rain, that sort of thing. So then I went to 
the uh, champion location and they had it uh, internal. Everything was nice and clean. The floor was clean. The lights were bright. They showed all the different rim options, seat options, just so many options that I wasn't getting in so many other places. So I thought that that spoke a lot about the reputation of the dealer in that particular location. So I went ahead and went with that. Um, now let's get into some of the standard features and also the options that you see on this course or this cart. So again, your, um, your lithium ion, this one has the 14 inch bright chrome Athena with Morpheus steel belted radio tires. Uh, so obviously the, the chrome look, I like the look of that. It's pretty slick looking. Uh, there's a premium comfort grip steering wheel, which I don't know what the other steering wheel, steering wheel would feel like. I mean, I don't know how important uh, that is. Uh, we also have the premium DLT windshield, which I, I know the first thing is this windshield folds down. Uh, it's nice to leave it open so you can get some wind uh, while you're, you're driving, but also uh, you can make some modifications and register this one with the local DMV and then you can put it on the road. And a lot of these South Florida communities uh, have areas where golf carts are used extensively. Uh, I probably won't use that this one as much, but it does have uh, a couple of features that I can see putting into uh, use. Uh, it has the uh, rear locking trunk. Now there's a, uh, just across the street from me, there's a, a uh, shopping center that has a grocery store and some restaurants. So I can see, you know, if you go to a grocery store to grab something and then maybe you want to go to a restaurant afterwards, uh, store your things in here. It's a really good size space. Uh, I'm not sure how much of that you can see, but it's uh, you can put uh, quite a few things in there, you know, eggs, bread, milk, or, you know, whatever. Not that you'll put milk uh, in a storage in Florida, but just saying those options. Uh, let's see what else we have. The uh, side mirrors, which you can see here. Now that's flanked by this flag here. You'll see an activate Gorilla Grind mode flag. That's my uh, t-shirt t-shirt company. And incidentally, activate Gorilla Grind mode is also what you see uh, on my t-shirt. Uh, that whole thing was born. This, by the way, comes from North Star Flags out of North Carolina. Uh, that whole concept was born. Um, <clears throat> billionaire Robert Johnson walked past me one day in the private jet airport and he got on his private jet and uh, he was out and I got really motivated uh, seeing that and uh, right at that moment created the whole activate gorilla grind mode concept because you don't just uh, you know work a little hard to get to those levels you have to grind uh, and I created activate gorilla grind mode with the Nike ball sort of on a golf course but at any rate uh, we have the side view mirrors here they didn't cost uh, too much um, let's see what else we have the brush guard. So you see the brush guard over the wheels, the front and the back. Uh, we also have the fender flares. Also, there's a receiver hitch. So if you look right here, there's a receiver hitch. I don't know what the, the weight for that or the tonnage for that is, but it's a receiver hitch there. Uh, incidentally, I did use that receiver hitch and I hooked it up to my trailer here. Uh, just to drag it, just to see what my towing capacity would be. Because again, I will not be playing golf with this cart. However, uh, I can use it on some of my property that I have in another state. And so it did pull this, this uh, trailer here with the greatest of ease. There's another YouTube video out there where a the gentleman put a riding lawnmower on his uh, golf cart, or should I say on his trailer, and he pulled it with his golf cart. So I'm sure you'll see that. Uh, he did all types of speed tests and power tests. I won't do that in this video, but I can certainly see that uh, those things were true based off the test I did this morning. Again, I just got this a couple hours ago. Um, we have the uh, canopy grab handles. So obviously, if your passengers are getting on the back here, use them uh, to help get in. Also, uh, these things are top heavy. So you got to be careful if you put four passengers on here. You don't go slinging around like it's some fun toy you know you'll turn these things over i've heard that it can get a little hairy scary so you got to be careful but other than that you should be fine and then finally we have the premium sound bar i'll turn that on in just a little bit so we'll give you uh, a dose of what the sound is like for this premium sound bar and why uh, i got that so uh let me uh, uh start with the or should i say let's get into the various options 
uh, to power this cart. And then you'll probably help understand why I got the lithium ion version. All right, so let's get into the, uh, <clears throat> the various costs. So you have three different ways you're gonna power these carts. The first is by gas. Now, again, in these sort of premium communities, they don't let you have a gas powered golf cart. So that eliminates that version. There's also the uh, lead acid battery. Uh, lead acid battery adds about 300 pounds to the weight of the cart. And uh, what you have to do is um, every three years, or so three years or so, replace that. You also have to keep the water topped off. And I just really didn't want to get into that business. It's not that I'm above it or you know I'm beyond that. Uh, it's just for the the uh, the extra money and what you get with the lithium ion battery. I like that option better. And so if you think of it in terms of like a Tesla, you just plug your uh, your cart, you should have said you plug your charger in sort of right here. As you'll see, just plug it in, you plug that into the wall. And this is really the business end of things. Uh, this is the lithium ion battery. So we'll never need a charge. Uh, you just sort of plug it in and go. And as, as you can see there, there's a couple of things I wanna point out. And let's start with this uh, switch. There's a run and tow switch right here. Uh, if you get one of these, as long as you're putting it on a cart, or should I say a trailer, similar to what I have here, it's fine. But if you ever have to tow this vehicle itself, you have to put it in tow. Otherwise, you'll do uh, a lot of damage. So you'll see there, again, that's the lithium ion battery. And one of the reasons why, or should I say an additional reason why I went with the lithium ion battery is because of degradation of service of your lead acid battery. I'm told that if you fully charge your lead acid battery uh, and it gets down to say maybe 30, 40%, if the cart is supposed to run 15 miles an hour and I'm just making this up, once you, uh, the power source gets low, it, it won't do that much. So if you're pulling something or if you're out on a golf, maybe you're playing two rounds or something and you need to get up some hills, uh, I'm told that you will lose some power on your cart when the things uh, get low like that. So. Uh, so that's, again, your gas, your lead acid battery, and then your lithium ion battery, which is what this is. So uh, let's also get into costs. Now, again, I said I started off by looking at some of the competitive brands. So something that looks like this from one of the competitors. Again, I'll just pick on uh, Icon, about 10 grand. Um, and then I looked at some of the others, which I'm not as familiar with. I went with club car because you can get the parts easy. Now, this club car starts at uh, just over 13,000. I think it's about 13,400. Uh, now, when I went with this lithium ion battery, that added almost $3,000 to the price. So right there, I'm at 17,000. Uh, some of the other costs came from these shiny chrome rims. The rims that came with it was fine, by the way. Uh, this is probably about four or $500 option for these particular rims. This nice seat, the seat that comes with it, you know, standard is pretty good, but you can see these sort of uh, cross stitching here, the nice leathers, white. Seems like it'll get dirty quick, but the gentleman who delivered it this morning uh, said you just wipe it down uh, and, and so that. And then also got the white uh, canopy top to reflect some of the heat from the black. I think these seats were about six, 700 bucks or something like that. Don't remember exactly, but also by customizing it, I got this metallic ice blue. I like that. Um, the locking trunk was, uh, I don't know, maybe two, three hundred dollars $300. Again, I really don't remember. You can find all the details of this stuff on the Club Cars uh, website. Uh, another option that I got, uh, and you will see here, is the uh, this sort of space. You can fill this with ice and drink some toll. And it's really deep down here. I'm not sure how much you all can, can see that there, but it's very deep. You can put easily a case and then some of, of your favorite beverage uh, and, you know, fill it with ice and it has a nice drain so it'll come out of there. Um, so that's that as well. Uh, and then this premium sound bar. I'm going to turn this thing on so you see what it sounds like. It is a high quality sound. Let's get a little Richard Elliott going here from uh you know the online retailer so i did did go ahead and spring for that uh premium soundbar 
Uh, so, so many other features that you'll see the uh, with this upgraded windshield. Uh, it goes all the way down to the to the edge there, so I think that helps with it helps with the ceiling. There's a little bit of carbon fiber uh, going on right there. Um, this thing does uh, just over 19 miles per hour. Uh, as it says, I didn't clock it, but you know, it certainly felt that way. There's a couple of USB ports that you see here from Club Car um, that you can use. Again, you have your forward, reverse, your charging. You got a couple of cup holders going on here. Um, your grab handles. Now, all in, this particular cart was just under $20,000. Obviously, that's a lot of money. It's not for everybody. <clears throat> but again, I just didn't find enough detail uh, for people spending this kind of money on these things. So I decided I'd give as detailed of a go at this as I could. Uh, again, these are 14-inch rims. In fact, uh, let's uh, take a look up under here in case anybody's interested. You'll see sort of their steel frame there uh it's a <clears throat> um i'm not really a mechanic but uh for those of you who if this has any value to you to sort of see your ground clearance and uh you know what the mechanics of this thing is where the steel is in case you're hauling something uh, again i'm not going to be using to playing golf uh not that i can see so far but uh again just to give you a, a look at what these things look like sort of uh inside and out uh your tires 215 50 40 uh your mag wheels there uh and all those types of things so so those again are all your sort of standard and upgraded features you know your towing package uh and everything like that so so again my my goal behind this whole video was to go into uh some pretty heavy detail to help you all out uh, if you decide to go down to champion uh, golf carts in palm city florida be sure to see mitch he's the sort of the sales director in fact i think he is the de facto go-to standard very nice guy uh, he was very professional uh, the guy who i went to talk with over at uh, icon unfortunately uh, he was doing just fine he could have easily sold me two carts for what i paid for this one at 10 grand a piece but i simply asked the guy about financing and he treated me like i was the absolute uh trailer trash scum of the earth incidentally i do come from a trailer park uh but not anymore um and so uh you know my life has changed but i didn't expect that kind of a treatment it was a simple ask of a question uh it didn't mean that i wanted financing it didn't mean i needed i simply asked about it but he didn't i didn't like his how his character changed when i asked about that so I uh, went ahead and went with Club Car. I'm happy about that. And again, I hope this video, uh, as detailed as it is, again, just trying to help those out that are going to spend the money uh, for these things. So that about wraps it up, folks. I will go ahead and sign off as I do with all my videos from the mobile home to where moguls roam. I am Anthony Vaughn Mickle. Activate Gorilla Grind Mode. Ah, let's work.